Tuesday, January 23rd. You can see we're back in the classroom again. And today's quote was, if you fell down yesterday, stand up today. We don't have time to be pouting for ourselves and, and saying, woe is me. We got to get up and make stuff happen today. So go do that. Today, I figured I'd try to bring you on the journey of me attempting the daily games. <clears throat> I forgot to do this and record the mini crossword, but I recorded me on Wordle, and you can see the strategy I have. I start every day with Steam. Everybody has different words that they start their day with, but I just like starting with Steam. Gets two key vowels out of the way and three key consonants, and I've had a pretty good amount of luck with it recently. So obviously I started, got the S and T, so then I tried to knock out a couple more vowels in another main consonant, so I went with Stoic, and you can see I got the I, so then I put in another... Word that I thought could make it happen, knocked out the N and K, and I don't like going with the double letter if I don't have to. You could see I added the T, got the L, so at that point, still was all I had left. Five guesses. So then we hop over into connections. I quickly realized I did not want to edit all of this for all the games, so that will not be a thing that continues going back to the photos. Made one dumb early mistake in connections, but fixed it and did the mini in 45 seconds. Bam! Lunchtime from the canteen. Got a, a pollo loco bowl. Got a Frito pie, chili cheese Fritos with some chili and cheese. And you know that chocolate milk life. Let's go. That was some chaotic basketball games. Uh, an offer, um, but they were all very exciting and entertaining for a large portion of them. We lost on a three-pointer with five seconds left, so that that was unfortunate. But we played really well for a large part of that game, and yeah, I like exciting basketball games. Um, Would have been nice to take home the victory, but got a couple days of practice and then another game Friday. So hopefully we're prepared for that. Now I gotta drive home and figure out what I'm eating and watching and how late I'm sleeping in. And the decision was holy moly, cause I love their crunchy tacos. Let's go. So right when I entered holy moly, uh, there was a customer that apparently had maybe been waiting a little while for his food. He had ordered quite a bit of food. So he was picking up his order, getting ready to go. But when he went to grab it, he also had a drink with him. It was an horchata. And so he asked for a refill of his horchata. And the ladies up front, the lady that was helping, said, sure, it's 85 cents. And then the guy was pretty upset about that. And that's like a reasonable special drinks like horchata. You know, if you go to Cane's and get the lemonade, you need to pay for the refill, things like that. So... He was pretty bummed and kind of in a less than pleasant tone insinuated that since he had to wait for his food and other people got theirs before his, that why couldn't they just, you know, give him some horchata without having to pay? He was mad, said something not super awesome, uh, just like the tone of it was not great as he left. And I walked up to the ladies and I was like, that's fun. Um... And they kind of laughed and they're like, yeah, that happens. And, you know, I've been on the other side of that. I get it. So just if you're somebody that, you know, you ordered a lot of food and you maybe had to wait while other people got theirs, maybe have a little bit of patience. Like there are times when workers need to be held accountable. And, you know, it's easy for me to say this. I didn't come in and see how long he was waiting or whatever happened. But based on his reaction, I am forced to assume he's maybe overreacted a little bit. So maybe have some leniency with the people that you interact with. Might as well try to leave the world a better place than we found it. Leave places better than when we first enter them. Um, but it was kind of late and I'm sure, you know, whatever. Going to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. But I also just tried to help increase the workers night too and make them feel a little bit better instead of ending on the tone of him. So... That was my adventure tonight. Uh, food is great, though. See you tomorrow. Good night, Eldrick.